did you get out of attending the event this weekend? This weekend was a good opportunity for me to step outside my business for a couple days and learn a lot about different marketing automation tools that I can deploy in my business to make uh, uh, a lot more revenue and better gross and net margins. What would you say to someone who is on the fence about coming to a meeting? So if there's someone considering yeah. coming in. I would say, um, I would say it uh, seems like a big investment out of the gate. And, uh, you know, when I was making a purchase decision to come to, uh, uh, to a mastermind group, it seemed sort of crazy and it seems crazy to some people that I know. <laughs> but um, uh, the value proposition is definitely there. There's so many different ways that you can earn your money back. There's um, the content, which is difficult to absorb. Um, you know, unless you're with people that are working with the tools, and there's the connections you can make with, um, you know, with other people that are that are working in similar spaces or completely different spaces, but may have uh, ideas that can work in your space. Very cool. Let's see, that's another one of Bob's questions. Uh, how much money do you think you can make with the ideas you got this weekend? <laughs> I don't know, I didn't come up with the lights of yeah, the yeah. I would say <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a stupid question. I have no doubt whatsoever <laughs> that the ideas that I came up with that the, this weekend will make me millions and millions of dollars and have an amazing ROI. <laughs> I came in at the beginning with one business and I'm walking out the other side with a totally different business. <laughs> Um, see, what is one thing we could do better? Um, I think the, um, I think the quality of the group is, um, um, is mixed and I think there's some really, really high quality people in the group and I think there's some people with varying skill levels and different kind of expertise and I think, um, I think uh, raising the bar and making sure that everyone's pulling their weight would be huge. I think um, uh, controlling the time a little better and controlling the floor a little better in terms of uh, making sure there's discipline in terms of who's talking and who's not talking. Um, and uh, that's it. Cool. What would be some other good questions you think to ask? <clears throat> You know, I think some. I think maybe like um, you know, I think the open-ended question that uh, Bob was starting, you know, that he started with both days was, "What was your aha moment?" Or can you okay. some things about some? Can you just describe, uh, you know, a couple aha moments? That you okay. Have? Yeah. So, so what would you say was your biggest aha moment by coming? Yeah, I think for me the biggest um, the biggest aha moment for me this weekend was um, uh, it's a combination of watching. Um, D.C. Fawcett and getting a sense for what his business model is and then meeting um, with Mike and some of the other folks on the team and really thinking about how I can uh, think about my business from a marketing automation standpoint and how I can really think about what kinds of uh, information products could I sell into the space in addition to having a bricks and mortar business. So really, uh, that's the big aha for me. That's a great one. Add some of these. And other questions, I would say. Um, uh, how about this one? Would Would you recommend to other Infusionsoft users that they come to something like this? Yeah, that's like the ultimate question, right? Just like straight mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would. I would. I would recommend uh, this kind of program for um, for pretty much any Infusionsoft user. I think when you look at the investment in the mastermind group, um, you're already investing quite a bit in the software, um, and you know all the ancillary services around the software. And you're either paying a lot of service providers to get things done, or else you're just simply not using the app. So if it, you know, if there's a lot of potential. Uh, there's a huge potential to deploy applications like Infusionsoft and the other applications that uh, people talk about in the group. Um, 
but the question is basically getting from point A to point B, and this is a way that you can do it in a supportive environment, basically. Mm -hmm. um, I guess another one for me would be, because it's kind of different, I hadn't done a lot of mastermind stuff before mm -hmm. I right, got into doing this, and I really got taken a lot out of it. Um, what, do you, what do you think the benefits of a mastermind group are? Like why, why do you think mastermind groups are important? I think it's important to have, uh, to build relationships with people um, uh, where you can be exposed to different uh, ideas and you can basically uh, get feedback and get access to uh, you know, what other people are thinking about things. So certainly you know, for any given problem that I might be experiencing in my business, there's someone in the room that may have a solution or there may be an idea for it. So it's really uh, I think a lot of the uh, I think a lot of the value in the group is really around strategy and around thinking about what your business is and what the value proposition is and how you can position it and then what tools you can use to basically get there. But it's I think more about strategy and about positioning and about sort of expanding your you know uh, your horizons and what you think are possible than it is about uh, actual implementation of the ideas. That's great. Um, yeah, I like that. Uh, what would you say are some of the more technical things that you picked up this, um, like during this event? You know what I mean? Just like, were there any particular, you know, technical strategies or whatever that, that people talked about that, that you hadn't heard of or would apply more towards your business? You know what I mean? Um, there's. It was a combination. First of all, there's uh, you know the application of optimized press and customer hub and lead tracker and QSS. You know all of these applications. Uh, some of them I have heard. Most of them I'd heard of before, but it's just like another basically pass, getting one level deeper into you know what they're good for and how they can be used. Um, I think the split testing, I think that was one of the biggest things for me was, and really also taking a, a, a stronger look at pay-per-click and how to basically do pay-per-click. Yeah, what do you think would be another good question? Uh, what are you going to do? What's the, what, what's the, um, there's some, I think there's some teachable moments that you could bring into this that sort of like drive, so you could say, uh, uh, like what are you going to go home and do? Yeah, what do you, yeah, what you know, what do you what what are you going to do on Monday, or uh, you know what you know, based on the based on what you came away with this weekend, what are the top three things that you're planning on implementing in your business? Yeah, that's great. Sort of like it sort of reinforces whatever the action whatever the action items are that they want. Yeah. So what what would be the top things that you're going to go home? <coughs> and well, let me see. The top things I'm going to do are. Um, I'm going to uh, shift my priorities a little bit in terms of how I'm using my time uh, and move uh, slightly away from deploying uh, the service uh, in my business and spend some more time uh, creating content that I could sell online that would both bring me revenue uh, and also support the service side of my business. So I'm going to uh, record a webinar and uh, record, do some more video, and uh, and I'm going to implement uh, affiliates. I specifically, actually, what I want to do, coming, the, uh, coming from this morning, from uh, Mike is talking about uh, affiliates, and I'm thinking, okay, well, I've got a photography business. Um, I want to take pictures. I want to sell the service at FusionCon. So one of the things I'm thinking about doing is taking the material that we're going to create this week and we're going to launch, and then I want to actually um, you know, my, my partner's coming to InfusionCon, we're going to take some really incredible uh, commercial uh, portraits and, uh, you know, we've got a couple extra slots we can fill and so maybe see if we can sell some additional uh, services while we're there, build some relationships, work on our tools and also just see what happens, have some fun. Cool. Very good. That's great. <coughs> yeah, if you want to go back to